Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is HTML full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we learned about elements in HTML. We know that any HTML will have a starting tag, will have some content and a closing tag. We saw the structure of the HTML page. We learned that there can be nested elements. That means elements inside elements. We also have the basic understanding now of what HTML file extension looks like. We also know how to run a HTML page, how to open it in browser, how to see the view source, how to do inspect mode. We will continue the basic fundamentals and today we are learning about attributes of the elements that we learned. This is part four of the series. If you have missed out on the previous episodes, I will request you please check them out because you will have continuity in your learning and you will be able to master HTML quickly. Alright, so today we are talking about HTML attributes. Okay, so what are attributes of an element in HTML? Attributes are nothing but the properties of an element. Okay, now let me ask you this first question. If I mention an element image, what comes to your mind? What could be the properties of an image? That's right. The first would be the source of the image or the path of the where the image is. Right? Beautiful. Now I'm, I'm going to ask you, if I say that there is a link in the page which you can click, what could be the properties? Right. So when you click on it, it should go somewhere. That means the path, href, right? So see how beautiful you already know, right? You can relate it. So those are called the attributes of an element. Attributes are the properties of an element. All HTML elements can have properties. Attributes provide more information about an element. We always define the attributes in the start tag of the element. This is very, very important point. I'm going to show you in hands-on also, but just understand that the properties of the element or the attributes are often written in are written only in the start tag. Attributes mostly come in key value pair. Key value means here you will write the key and then the value format. Okay. But we can have attributes by name itself. Okay. We'll cover that. That's little advanced. Don't go there. For now, understand that the value comes in key value format. Okay. That's all you should know. So let's go ahead and do some practical. If you see, this is what we have done in the last episode. All right. So now let's add a simple thing. I'm going to say attribute of a paragraph or say, um, okay, let's add a attribute to the paragraph. So inside this start, so I'm going to remove this for now so that it's very, very simple and clear the cutter clutter free. So you have the basic HTML page, empty page. Let me refresh and you won't see anything because it's empty. Okay, I'm closing this. It doesn't have anything. So let's put a first H1 is a heading. My first. Don't worry about what H1 is now because that's what we are learning in the next episode. For now, stick with. Just type what I'm typing. This is my first web page. So I'm just throwing a heading and a paragraph a heading and a paragraph now we are talking about attributes attributes are passed in the start tag okay between this opening and this closing okay now here I'm going to don't worry too much I'm just writing so that you can see it in action okay for now I'm going to select aquamarine and color as black. Now you see how I added color to this particular paragraph. This is called the attribute. It tells what to do with this particular attribute. This is a property. Style is a property of paragraph. Here we are passing values. Okay. Now let me show you one more example. Don't get confused. It's simple. Now I'm saying input type equal to text. Now I want you to tell me what is the attribute name here. That's correct. The attribute name is type and the value is text. Now see how it looks. We didn't save it. So remember to save it. If you don't save it, it will not. So see, now I'm getting an input text box. Now let's add some more. 
now I'm saying input type equal to radio and here I'm selecting choose let's say you're building a form and here you'll say okay so I have two radio buttons right male female right now they both cannot be selected right or can they be do let me know if you have seen any form where you can select both options for gender in any form right so you need to pass an attribute and you will say the, the name attribute is let's say gender right this should be same because they both map to same so now you see you can select only one right I'm sure at a given any point of time there can be only one gender here but okay yeah so without going into the technicalities of gender issues right now but we can talk about that in comments uh, here you're seeing that attribute name is type attribute name is name attribute name is style what they do they provide more information about this particular element to the browser okay and there are it can be anything it can be user defined it can be a built-in attribute okay so understand the concept now the format that we will do is attributes now attributes are what nothing but properties properties of elements is called at are called attributes now it, there are so many predefined okay attributes comes in I mean format of key equal to value format if you see here this is the key this is the value this is the key this is the value this is the key these are the values okay so it comes in key value format okay there are predefined okay predefined set of attributes that we can use okay like ID ID is equal to my, my para my heading okay so these are all pre-built predefined attributes that we will be using as part of our learning we can also have custom defined attributes that is little uh, advanced topic so we will revi revisit this topic down the line okay after maybe a couple of episodes once you're comfortable for now understand important thing which is what are attributes they are the property of elements where are they written they are written in the opening tag if you see input I closed it because it's a self closing tag we talked about it here you see we talked about the self closing tags type is an attribute of input they are written in the start tag okay they are always written in the start tag of the element it, they follow key value format key equal to value format is how attributes are written okay there are predefined set of attributes that we will use and there are custom that we can define okay I hope it's clear so far I hope I have made all the basic fundamentals clear so that we can start our journey with headings in HTML okay now I have missed out on one point let me cover that here now a lot of people ask should I use single quote should I use double quote doesn't matter you can use single quote right you can use single quote or double quote right but prefer using best practices to use double quotes okay best practices to use the double quote so that you code looks symmetric and same okay that's all you should know and yeah in the next episode onwards we will start with headings in HTML like the one that you just saw here h1 right you don't know what it is now but at the end of next tutorial you will know what is h1 not only that you will know all the headings in HTML I hope you're um, I'm sincerely putting in all the efforts to make it easy for you do let me know in the comment section if you find them easy tough hard am I missing something should I change some teaching format for you am I going too fast too slow I'll change according to your comfort 
thank you so much for joining in this episode in the next episode we will start actual elements that are defined in HTML we'll start with heading element thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode